one thing too with these young dogs those too is teaching them patience now he's up here he's like a little wiggle worm so unless he sits and sits solid and has a little bit of patience it's a lot tougher to do drills now just now just to show you just first thing i do is you know get him to hold take the dummy and what you're going to do is roll it in from his bottom jaw and sit sit him down Dwayne crash make him sit sit okay what you do is you grab his mouth like this so he's not biting his lip and you just roll it right in you don't hardly have to force it at all no no hold hold I got uh-uh see sit he don't he doesn't like that see I've got him by the collar and I've got him by the ear just to control his head now we'll try this again sit this is a lot easier if he's sitting. <laughs> no, no, uh-uh. Hold, hold, shh, 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 shh. You try to be as gentle as you can. Shh, 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 shh. As gentle as you can. Because, you know, a lot of guys start off real, real rough. And then if you have to discipline a dog, you have nowhere to go with it. You don't want to start on a 10. You want to start on about a one-third. <laughs> shh, hold, hold. Hold. No. Come up here, Dwayne, so he can see you a little bit more. Maybe that'll relax him. Okay, pet his head. Pet him. Get him calm. Now, what do you use as your release command? Give. 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 Okay. Sit. Sit. Go ahead. Make him sit. We're not done with this yet. Okay, now he's a little... Okay. Go ahead, calm Sit. him down, calm him down. Sit. Crash. Look at this. Look at this. Yo, eyes oh. nice. Crash, crash, crash. Here, now we'll do the same thing. Sit. Real gentle. Just roll it right in. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, uh -huh. sit, 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 sit. Okay. Try it again. Sit. When you're doing these drills too, I mean, if you're not patient or you're having a bad day, you do not want to be doing this. Because <laughs> patience is everything. Sit. Hey. Okay. Sit. It's always a lot easier to do this up on a table than it is on the ground. They start getting a little rambunctious. You can't get try to get them calm. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Who's oh, a good boy? Hold. Look at you. What a big good boy. Crush. Hold. Good boy. No, don't. Get them when you praise them. When when we're, when you're done, uh, you don't want to wind them up too much because then he starts. Okay. You know, just you know, just maybe like a little good while he's doing it. You know, pray, shh, 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 hold. You don't really want to give them a lot of praise until you make sure oh, shh, 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 until you make sure that they do it correctly. You know, you don't want to give them praise halfway through when they haven't finished the task because then they think they only have to do it halfway. Hold. Nope. Uh -oh. Okay. Set. 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 Okay. Set. Go right there. This is where the patience comes in. Shh. Good boy. Shh. Shh. See how they calm down though when you grab them underneath rather than on top? Because that's how a dog corrects another dog. Shh. Much more calmer now. I can feel it because he's not. His mouth isn't as tense. Shh, shh, shh. Hold. What you can do too is, if he's got a collar on, you can hook him in the collar and stick your finger up under here. Okay. Is that a little less pressure than a hand? Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. Hold. 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 No. Shh, 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 shh. The other thing, having him up like this does is. They like that eye contact, and when they're looking you in the eyes, it helps when they're on the ground then, they're looking up, they're used to looking up at you for that delivery. 
so that makes a big difference too. Just staring at the cameras. <laughs> shh, shh, good boy. Every time we do this, he's calming down just a little bit more each and every time. We'll try one more and then we'll, that'll be enough. You don't want to try to overdo it either. I mean, this is his first session, first time we've ever done this with this dog. So, you haven't tried anything like this, have no, you, Dwayne? No, okay. Not at all. Shh. You see how he see how he's calming down a little bit mm -hmm. each and every time. Shh. Okay. Hold it until I tell you. Hold it. Hold it. Shh. Hold. Hold. Good boy. Give. Okay, the other thing is when you're doing bench work like this, never let them get off on their own. Now we're going to let him go and have a little bit of fun after that to get his mind straight, but you don't let him jump down on his own. You always go, okay, let him go, you know, make sure you lift him off. You don't want to get him in the habit of jumping off by themselves. And anybody that says, you know, says that, you know, a little bit of discipline, look, it doesn't put him off at all. But that was just, you know, what, five, ten minutes and see how he held that last one? It just takes patience, so. And it, you try to do the least amount of correction that you can possibly get away with. That way, you know, you can always step it up a notch, but it's tough, once you step it up, it's tough to go back because they're used to that being stepped up. Do you wanna do the kiss of death and try a retrieve sure, with him sure, here? Sure. <laughs> Chances are this is not gonna work, but, you know, after just one session, but. We're here, let's try it. Crash, crash, crash. Fetch it up, fetch it up. Fetch it Get up. a boy, look that's at you, big dog. Well, <laughs> but that was better than him not picking it up at all, huh? No more after this swing. All right, fetch it, fetch it. Good boy, hold, hold. Uh, okay, we'll have to do, you'll have to do some more hold stuff at work. That. But at least he's picking it up and bringing it back that's, now. That's so, progress. That's progress. so you know, after, you yeah, know, that was a that big improvement over last year? I'd say. I'd okay, say so. good, good. That's what we want. Every time you do a lesson, too, you want to see just a little bit of improvement. You know, baby steps, you know, are always a good thing. You know, you don't want to remain stagnant because sometimes when a dog takes a big step, there's usually something in between that either you're missing or it's not gonna be quite as polished when you finally get them finished off. You know, you want you know everything to be exactly right when you get them there. That's the one good thing about uh, competitions. It's not necessarily, you know, a hunt, it, it, it's a spaniel competition, especially the hunt test. It's a, hunting situation and there's different levels junior senior master for you know your dog's ability but it it's two things it forces you to train because you don't want to go out there and embarrass yourself believe me the dogs come up with enough stuff to do that on their own you don't need to help them with that <laughs> but it forces you to train in the summertime plus it gives you somewhere to go with your dog uh, you know you want to achieve a certain level of training with your dog and that's all going to reflect out in the field you're going to have a better day of field when you do go out there and go hunting so you know hunt tests are a really good place to start with your young dogs very very good place to start uh, last year between hunt in 2012 between Hunt tests and field trials, we had uh, 64 placements on 13 different dogs. So that, you know, that's a lot. <laughs> Take my word for it, that's a lot. <laughs> well, thanks for the so, tips with Crash, we'll work on that. But uh, yeah, hunt tests are a good place to start. So. He's fetching up uh, clay targets now. That's a, yeah, that's I don't give him any more retrieves. That's sure we need any of those, so let's not yeah, chase any When you do that too, give, just give him one or two retrieves. When he does them right, quit. You know, don't give him the opportunity to, I mean, obviously he loves to retrieve, but um, Finish on a bad I would note. get a hold of, uh, I would try to get a hold of some pigeons before okay. season and, shh, 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 hey, Easy. no squeak Easy. in your mouth. Easy. Easy. <laughs> so, um, let's, uh, you want to do, because uh, you're having a little trouble with him sitting, you want to do some, uh, how we start him out with, uh, sitting and teaching them patience and stuff? Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, 
All right. Well, let's do that. We'll just we'll do that. Okay, this is Anlo and Lisa, and we're going to show how we teach uh, patients with the dogs. Now, these guys, they know what the sit command is. We use HUP. And um, actually, Lisa, this one here, is uh, Matt's handling her in trials and stuff. So for her to sit here while he goes and gets another dog is going to be kind of tricky. Go ahead, Matt. Up. Never hurts to remind them when you're doing this, but you don't worry about them laying down either because you want them relaxed and calm. It's kind of like, I mean, even Ammo, he's puffing a bit, but he's not that real tense. You want them when they're sitting there and you're starting out, like when you have a crash, put them up there, you know, as soon as you see them go, and like exhale and relax. That's what you're looking for. And a lot of people say, oh, you don't want them laying down this, that, the other thing. But believe me, when they're marking a bird, they're not going to lay down. Hey, hop, hop. This is right where we had that bird. You can probably see the feathers there. Now we're going to inject uh, Dakota in here, who she's, you know, <laughs> belongs to uh, Jeff and Ellen Ladd up in Michigan. And uh, she's a little bit on the wild side. So we're going to see what happens when he injects her into this. Because these two guys, you can see they've done this drill, and we'll see what she does. Definitely got their attention. There. Yeah. Well, they've done this drill before. so And you never want to take like a dog like her, like Dakota, and you don't want to start with two newbies. You always want to put, uh, you know, a young dog like Crash, we put him down with just one of these guys. But because we're running a little bit low on time, we're going to do both these guys just to get them out okay. a little bit, and uh, they'll be fine. But And you want to keep them in a tight group if you got two or three of them out, because that way you can tell if one moves. If you have them sitting all willy-nilly, you can't tell. Up. Now the other thing you have to watch when you're talking, watch your hand movements. If I drop my hand, they probably all go. So you have to be real careful. Body language is everything. It relates everything to that dog. Your posture and everything. Actually, I'm kind of amazed that she's sitting there right now. I think her owners are going to be real proud when they see this. Because uh, Jess duck hunted her last year. She's only about... Oh, 19, 20 months old, and he shot about 75 ducks for her last year, so calming her down is, <laughs> it's been a job. Go ahead, Matt, correct her. See, she's just getting a little wiggly because Matt's here, and she wants to be a little bit of a brat. But But this is how we teach patients. And then the next step in this is we'll get two, we start out with two dogs, one that's really solid, like Macy or Ammo or Lisa, and we'll set them down with, like Dakota, we'll have two of them out and you throw retrieve and you send one of them for the retrieve. That's why we send them on their names. So we can, uh, you know, so, you know, if you say fetch it, they're all gonna go. But that's the way we do. So you can do multiple drills with the dogs, and you know, and eventually you get it where there's three or four of them out there, and th that way, uh, you know, you look on, you see all these TV shows, and these guys are out there, and every dog's got a shock collar on them, number one, and you'll see two, three dogs chasing a retrieve, and then two dogs picking it up. You know, and a handler yelling, bring it here. Well, I always try to figure out, well, where else do you want them to bring it to? You know? <laughs> you know? Um, and, you know, the really, really sad part about a lot of those shows are the guys know they're being filmed. So those are the absolute best dogs they have because they know they're going to be on national TV. 
you know, and it's, it, it's just, ah, uh, Dakota here, what are you doing? See, when they make a mistake, you don't get all, you know, flustered. You just stop and put them back and start over. What I'm really looking for is for all of them to eventually just lay down, and they'll be all nice and calm. What's going on now? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh. Of course she's going to be the one to give you a hard time, yeah, well, just because I thought Dakota would today. <laughs> Go ahead and give her a little bit harsher correction. See, she knows this too. If you know a dog knows something, you know, you can give them a little bit of a harsher correction. You don't need to be just, oh, see now, right? <laughs> but this is where you start, Dwayne. If you have a, you know, a picnic table, you know, actually something a little bit smaller, just, you know, something two by two is enough, where they have parameters that they know they're not allowed to jump off of. Okay. You know, this is actually pretty big. I mean, you can put a dozen dogs up here, you know. But, you know, it's, it's good to demo what we have for today. So, um, this is where you start. Okay, up, up. Get them all nice and calm. Okay. <laughs> this must be reward, I think they're the happy, reward time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was reward. <laughs> When I say okay, that's time for them to go play. That uh, normally, if I tell a dog okay, I don't do any work after that for that session anyway. Dakota reminds me a lot of Christ. She can really move just like he can. No, oh, yeah, those guys can really move, man. Well, Jim, one time, if somebody wants to get a hold of you for some training help or they're looking for a pup, uh, how do they do that? Um, FlushingStar.com is my website, um, or they can try giving me a call at 440-748-1053, and if I'm not there, which I'm usually not, just leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. With fall coming up, I'm going to be gone a lot. <laughs> well, Jim Carl Vick, Flushing Star Kennels in Columbia Station, Ohio. We appreciate you being back with us on Crawford County Dwayne, it's nice to see Crash again. Yo, thanks. I, I, I appreciate the tips. Yeah, and Matt, well, thank you for your help with the show today. Yeah, we appreciate that. <laughs> And especially thanks to the folks at home for joining us, and we'll talk to you next time on Crawford County Outdoors.